Hello and welcome. This is a continuation of my video series on Embedded C. And in this video, I like to explore the topics on arrays. Now, before I get in, uh, onto arrays, let's take a look at data types. Now, within C, each variable is associated with a specific data types. And examples of data types, I've chosen to have uh, int for integer, char for character. Uh, we're going to take a more detailed look in, in a few moments. Now, each data type, whether it's an int or the char, requires a certain amount of memory or a certain amount of storage space. And it has a range of values it can represent. So let's take a look at the uh, typical data types available in uh, C. I've highlighted char here. Char requires one byte of memory. It, that is 8 bits. And it can the range, and it ranges from minus 128 to positive 127. If we go down the list and we see int for integer, now, int requires two bytes of memory of storage, and two bytes is 16 bits, and it range uh, it stretches from minus 32,768 to positive 32,767, and the other common data types available available are unsigned char, short, uh, unsigned int, long. Uh, if you look, uh, look at long, it requires four bytes of uh, storage. Unsigned long is also four bytes, float two bytes, and double. Uh, the type double requires eight bytes of storage space. Now, before we move on to the next part, which is the array, let's take a look at uh, a brief look at Kyle C116C compiler. Now, this particular compiler is specially designed for the Infineon C16X microcontroller family. And it introduced the, C, the C116C compiler introduced uh, these two data types. One is bit. And as the name suggests, it only, only requires one bit of storage, and the range is 0 to 1. And set bit also requires one bit of storage, and it's either a 0 or a 1. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Um, in this example, I'm going to just explore uh, four data types. Here in this code here, I've declared uh, at line 7 uh, a variable called data1 and I, it's of the type int and I've assigned a hex value of 0305 hexa to data1 and the second uh, variable is data2 of the type char or character and I assign the uppercase A to it. And then the next one, the third one, is data 3 of the type long int or long integer. And I've assigned uh, a hex value of AA551234 hexa to data 3. And then the fourth variable, data 4, of the type bit. Remember, this is a Kyle C116 uh, compiler implementation, and I've signed a 1 to uh, data 4. Right, so I've, uh, let's, let's just recall clean the date targets and then rebuild it just to make sure it's okay. Now I'm going to use the debug as before. Uh, before I go any further, let me just take you uh, take a brief look 
uh, at the uh, disassembly uh, of this uh, code here and let's look at uh, int data one assigned uh, hex zero three zero five and if you look at the uh, disassembly uh, zero three zero five is split up uh, into uh, two bytes so zero three is actually copied to uh, location zero eight and zero five we copy into location zero nine uh, later on, we will look at the uh, uh, these memory locations, and we'll, uh, we should find these values there. And then uh, the uh, uppercase A, which it was assigned to data 2, that has a hex value of uh, 41 uh, for ASCII uh, A. So 41 hexa is the uh, hex code for uh, uppercase A. And that is stored in location 0a. And then data 3 is of the uh, is a long int, and there are four bytes of four bytes of location allocated to it. So AA is look uh, stored in 0b, 55 is stored in 0c, 12 is stored in 0d, 34 is stored at 0e. And then finally uh, the uh, Data 4 is uh, located at uh, location uh, 20, x20 location. That's the location where we see it uh, for data 4. All right. Okay. So let's get back here. And I'd like to draw your attention to the bottom right corner here. I set up the watch window for all four data types. So data 1 is here. Uh, there are uh, two bytes of information uh, storage here, and that's of the type int. Data 2 of the type character is only one byte of information, and data 3, a long int uh, that has uh, four bytes of location, and data 4 is one bit, a uh, bit, so one bit. Let me just maybe zoom in here. Just give me a minute. Let's zoom in. Yes. So data one is here of the int. Then we have uh, two bytes. And data two is of the type uh, char. Uh, it's only uh, one byte. Let me just erase them. Data three is a long int. And that's uh, four bytes of uh, what you call um, location allocated. All right, so uh, let's erase that. So this is one byte. This is the uh, second byte here. And this is the third byte here. And finally, this is the fourth byte. And then uh, data four. Uh, it's one bit of information, so it's only one uh, bit of information. Yeah, right. Let's zoom out. Right. So let's take this out. All right. Okay. So we're back here. So I'm going to step through this uh, code here. So first one is to assign zero three zero five to data one. So watch this part here yes it's now 0305 here and then the character uppercase a assigned to data 2 and we see the hex equivalent 41 is stored here and also beside it the uppercase a data 3 is of 4 bytes of uh, location that you can see it here aa551324 and finally data 4 is one bit so we assign one to it, and there we have it. And uh, we'll zoom in here to see it. And there we have it. They all, we can see all the uh, date, the uh, data types here. Right. Now I'm going to reset 
the program and I'm going to look at the locations where these data are stored. So let's go to debug again. And we switch to memory. And remember the disassembly starts at 0, 8 location, 0, 9, 0, 8. And then is 0, B, 0, C, 0, D, 0, E. And then this is 2, 0 for the uh, data form. Right. Okay. So first off is data 1. And we should see 0, 3, 0, 5. Yes, we do. And remember, it's two bytes operation. All right, let's zoom in just to zoom in. Yes. So 0305 and 08. So this is 09. This one here will be 09. Yeah, okay. So erase that. And zoom out. And take off this edit. Yeah. Right, and then we execute this. So we should see 4, 1, yes, next to 0, 5. And then we should see AA, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what's this bottom part here? So yes, and we find ourselves, let's zoom in. Yes, and we have AA, 5, 5, 1, 2, Three, four. Okay, and then finally, uh, data four is one bit, and it's stored at uh, zero two location zero two, which is this one here. Let me just uh, step it in. Yep, right, and you see zero one. Let's zoom in. Yes. And we find zero one at location two zero hexa. Okay, that's it for this particular demo. Okay, so now let's take a look at array. An array is a group or a collection of same data types. Here in the, here is an example of an array. Uh, in this and the, the type is uh, int and this is the uh, name of the variable or the name of the array and each item in the array is known as an element so this three in the square bracket tells us that this array of the collection of the data types, uh, there are only three elements. One, two, three. The first element is always known as element zero. This is element one and element two. And the array, as mentioned early, earlier, holds the elements of int types. So each of these elements in the array is of the type integer or int. Okay, so we, uh, we come to the second demonstration and this particular example or demonstration, we're going to look at how we're going to make use of an array uh, to switch on the LEDs on, uh, on port zero of the AT89S52. And uh, let me just walk you through the code before we do the demonstration. So I declare a variable here called index of the type int. And then I declare a variable uh, a array uh, called bit position, uh, which contains uh, eight elements. And they are uh, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8. And these are basically the uh, weight of the LEDs, individual LEDs in decimal. And they, all eight elements are of the type int. Uh, uh, you should bear that in mind. 
uh, because this is important uh, as we will be looking at something called data structure later on. So an index, I initialize it, uh, put it up uh, to zero, reset it. Uh, index is the index position here. So here in this loop, I'll display the individual LEDs according to the weight and uh, incrementing the index to indicate the uh, position of the LED. All right. And here, this line here, basically, that will increment the, um, the index. Basically, that's the position of the uh, LED. Right, so uh, I've already um, compiled it, so there's zero error, zero warning, so let's go straight to the uh, debug. I've also set up the uh, uh, port, uh, port zero, and also the uh, the watch window. All right, uh, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. So let's step through this one here. So we now initialize our array. Okay, so, yep. So the array has been initialized. All right, so it be sitting at 0, 8 location onwards. And uh, here are the... Uh, the positions and then index is here so now we go to index we now set it to zero now the first one would be uh, element zero which is a one so we should see this LED uh, switch on so let's go yep and it's correct so the next one will be increment the index and we should see, yeah and let me just go down here the index uh, let's zoom in now the index is increment by one and the yeah all right so uh, let's carry on with this so we we were now uh, output the next one which is 2 which is this position here increment the index by 1 and then uh, that will be 3 then that would catch display 4 yep this LED here and you will notice here the uh, the values of the bit position are, are also copied into the uh, elements the position here zero is one uh, bit position one is zero two uh, bit position is four and so on so now let's move on to the next one index display it so i'm going to just cycle through next one okay we come up with the last one, which is one two eight, which is this one, this position here, bit seven, and it is, and it should finish. Yes, it does. It comes out of the loop, and we're done. And we can see here in this window all the values being read. Yeah. Okay. So. So that's, a, that's it for this particular demonstration. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next uh, few videos or next couple of videos, I'm going to look at uh, structure or struct and unions and the arrow operator. So uh, if you're interested in uh, how to deal with uh, struct and unions, uh, stay tuned in this channel and hope to see you in the next time. Bye!